Tony, I cannot believe it is our season finale of The Fame. I can't either, Lindsay, but you know we like to do it big here at The Fame, so you know we're going out with a big Oh, we sure do. We have Cowboys of the past and present Hall of Famer Ray Fieldbright joins us and current linebacker Mark Nzach is on the show. And musical guest Cindy Sledge. Yes, that Cindy Sledge is in the building. Wait, speaking of music, what is that? We're going out with a bang. The fame starts now. The fame. Lindsay, Tony, and Dallas's biggest names with all things football, food, fandom, and fun. More than just the game. Welcome to the fame. Welcome in to the season finale of the fame. It is so bittersweet because we love the fame. I'm Lindsay Draper, co-host Tony Banks. You've been fabulous this year, Tony. I just had to tell you. Well, I, I, I feel like I, I appreciate right? the compliment, but it's been a little bit of a di disappointing year, but the fame, it goes down on the fame. We get to the nitty-gritty here on the fame. Absolutely. What's been one of your favorite memories from this season? You know what? This might be odd for maybe some people to think, but Tyler Klutz here with his beautiful family a couple of weeks ago, his son and daughter, Absolutely love them. Love them. I had to say Charles Haley and David Irving breaking oh. it down. Anybody enjoy that? Breaking like that. it down. So let's break down some Cowboys football with our first guest tonight. Give it up for linebacker Mark and Zacha. There Mark, what's he up, homie? is fashionably late. How you doing? <laughs> hey, appreciate that. How are you? Good, good. Okay, so... Give us an update. How is everything? Because it is exciting that you are on the active roster now. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, I've uh, been on the active roster for the past, what is it, three, four, maybe five weeks. Right. Um, yeah, it's been great. You know, um, being an actual part of the team now, you know, before that, obviously just being on the POP list. So, yeah, it's been really good. Yeah, being able to contribute, right? I know it's been a tumultuous time for the Cowboys uh, over the last few weeks. But everybody's still got something to play for. I don't care if it's for the playoffs or the next contract. What do you think about going into this, uh, the rest of the season and going into the next season? You know, I always have the attitude of just, like, playing for your brothers, you know, playing um, for the boys in the locker room, you yeah, know. Yeah. And <laughs> yes! you know, um, So and that's definitely one of a, uh, uh, you know, modest or, like, our mentality. Just we never give up, you know, so... That's not even a question. We're just going to keep and playing as hard as we tell can. Tell me if there's any truth to this. I mean, a lot of people out there are saying, you know, let's focus on the draft. Let's move on from this season. <laughs> but for guys like you who are just out of college, you want to hit the ground running as hard as you possibly can for the length of the season. Oh, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Got to I mean, improve, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, that's kind of how I see it, too. You know, I take every day as a learning experience, you know, trying to get better every day. So, yeah, no doubt about that. Well, just to get back to the nitty-gritty we were talking about, Lindsay. How's the locker room? Do you guys still feel like there's a chance to get to the playoffs? Is there still an air in the building that you have a chance? I mean, as long as ma mathematically there's a chance. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so why you're not? Saying well, that sounds a good, Lindsay, but do you guys believe in the locker room? These everybody wants to know. Do you guys believe in the locker room that you can still make you can it happen? Tell us. And get tell to the us playoffs? the truth. Come on. Mark. Nobody's I mean, listening. Nobody's I mean, watching. <laughs> okay. Um, obviously, yeah. I mean, that's, I feel like that's um, the mentality is as long as there's a chance. You, you know, heard him, yes. There's belief there, yes. yeah. Okay, so, Mark, let's be honest. Fans, the defense has been playing incredible, am I right? Keeping you guys into the game. So tell us a little bit about what Rod Marinelli is uh, telling you guys. Um, you know, just, like, keep doing what we've been doing, you know, and uh, we definitely pride ourselves on playing really hard, playing with great effort, and that's what we've been doing and going to continue to do. Love it. And, you know, you get a chance to play young guys, not just like yourself, but David Irving, who's been on the show a few times. Really get a chance to see some of you guys develop, get some quality snaps in meaningful games, because these games still matter. 
Oh, yeah, no doubt. That's exactly right. So, Mark, let's talk about earlier this season. You were on our show. You were with Dr. Satari and mm. went and had some brain scans done. Is that correct? Okay, tell us a little bit about your visits there. Well, um, obviously, with the season and all, I didn't have much time. You right. Know, I only got uh, three sessions in so far. But we did, like, a little brain mapping and, you know, been just working on... Did they wire you up and everything? Exactly. You know, just, like, you know, kind of the brain waves and... All of that. Well, we have an interesting photo. I don't know if everyone can see it. Those at home, get a good look at it. This is Mark's brain. He is so smart. But what's interesting about this is that you right. are pretty clear, right. Dr. Satari told us, so that since there's not a lot of concussion cleanup, you mm -hmm. can start focusing on quick twitch and getting better, faster, things like that. And the yep. green blotch, right? what is that, your first tackle? The <laughs> That's <only> probably <laughs> what it is. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Well, good stuff from Mark, as always. Thanks for being with us, and he will join us later on the show. It's time for us to take our first break, but stay with us because we got a Hall of Famer joining us on this couch right after the break on The Thing. Grab a crisp, refreshing Bud Light, put two plans on the table, and let the NFL coin toss decide. Okay, heads, Todd says we go to Tina's pool party tomorrow. Nice. Tails, we go to the beach all day and snuggle. Nice. Wait, autocorrect. He meant snorkel. Cool. Oh, snorkel. Yeah. Bob Lavelle here for HMS with frequently asked questions. Joe asked, Bob, your clients seem so happy with their experience at HMS. Is it because of the great home deals they get or great customer service? Joe, meet our customer service department. Well, it's time to stop waiting. It's time you move on out. HMS can get it done. Welcome back into the fame, everyone. We are having a blast at the Rustic. It is our season finale. Doing it big out here. We've got a great crowd tonight. You guys look fabulous. Yeah. I'm Lindsay Draper, joined by my co-host, Tony Banks, and we are joined by Rayfield Wright. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, I'm so honored to be here. We it's are. unbelievable. This is a treat for us. So ah. first of all, just tell us what you're doing now, nowadays. Well, first of all, let me wish everyone that's here uh, Happy holiday season. I think it's going to be a great year. Yes, sir. And we're going to start the new year off right, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, what I'm doing right now, I have an oil and gas company down in uh, West Texas, and we're doing very good. Even though the market is down a little bit, we're still doing good. It's always <laughs> nice, right? And I also work with young people. I work with kids. Uh, uh, to work with them to kind of motivate them and excite them and to get them uh, interested in basically staying in school, getting their education, and going on and do exactly what God has given them the ability to do. So we, important. Uh, we have a uh, Raphael Wright Foundation, and we have uh, helped send 48 kids to college. Ooh, Fabulous. 48 kids yeah, to college. Yeah, those uh, 48 kids. Yeah. Out of those 48 kids, uh, 18 of them uh, have graduated, and that really makes me feel good. Yes, you know? has yeah. to. That'll bring a smile to your face. Now, when did you start developing that, uh, that, that feel like you wanted to help the community and help the youth in your community? Well, when did that I, happen? I tell you, it, uh, it goes a long way back, even though I'm not that old, okay? Yeah, no <laughs> right. I'm still no a doubt. young man, right? But... Uh, if you really want to know, you know, when I was uh, growing up as a young man uh, and graduated from high school, I had really volunteered for the Air Force. Uh-huh. Yeah, and they t you know, and uh, uh, my cousin that was at uh, this little small school, Fort Valley State College, yeah. had told this new coach that have came in about my athletic ability. Coach Lomax. Coach Lomax, yeah. absolutely. Well, you know about hey, him, man. Hey, man, Come I on. know a little. Come on. <laughs> you know, so, you know, he just wouldn't leave me alone, yeah. you know, even though I had volunteered for the Air Force. Yeah. And so I told him that uh, he needed to come to my hometown, which is Griffin, Georgia, mm -hmm. a little small city south yeah. of Atlanta, and he said he would. And I said, well, you got to talk to – my mother, my grandmother, my uh, Boy Scout master, my minister, <laughs> <laughs> and the recruiting officer, right? Yeah. So he showed up, and, you know, the, I, you know, they stayed in the house. You know, back in those days when 
you know, adults will gather together. Right. They always send the kids outside. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I went outside and sit on the porch. And while all these people were in our house uh, talking about my life, my future, yeah. what's going to happen to me. Yeah. After about three hours, <laughs> they came out. My mother was crying. My grandmother was crying. And the recruiting officer came up to me and said, son, you can go to college. And that's how I got into Fort Valley wow. State College. Fabulous. But, you know, but I never, I couldn't make the high school football team. Yeah. And is yeah. a Hall of Famer, by the way. Hall of Famer. Quite a story. <laughs> what, four-time, five-time All-Pro? Not just all of I mean, well, All-Pro. I, I, mean. I was six times uh, All-Pro and uh, played in uh, five Super Bowls. Uh, we yeah. won two of them. <laughs> well, these guys talk about today about having the, the undersized rebounder from the small college turn into the tight end in <laughs> the NFL, right, which I love. But you didn't only switch sports. You switched going and playing the most physical position in all of football and were able to excel at it, not just playing the receiving tight end. You were in the mix. Well, i tell you what, you know, I, since I couldn't make the high school football team, I went to college on what they call a – athletic scholarship mm -hmm. and I didn't know I was supposed to play football uh -oh. oh so I thought I was there to play basketball yeah. <laughs> you know, no, you're playing whatever we tell so you I had, a, I had an athletic scholarship yeah. which meant that I had to play two sports and that's when I started playing football now that's interesting now the first position that I played you wouldn't believe this Free, free safety. safety. <laughs> Unbelievable. I didn't want Hall anything. Tackle, I didn't want safety. anything at all to do what was happening up front. He said, give me 20 <laughs> yards of space, huh? I'll give be me, back give here. Me give me a little bit of space. Let me go <laughs> do some things outside. That's funny. Well, as a player, former player with so much success, can you diagnose the Dallas Cowboys of today and give us a little bit of what you would say is going on right now? Well, I'll tell you what. You know, the game itself has changed so right? much since yeah. I played. Coach Landry uh, was a great play, great coach, and you know he taught us certain things, you know about in principle, right. you know about commitment, dedication, you know, and uh, mm. our character mm. and so forth. And you know we believed in what he was telling us, you know, absolutely. And so we took that with us inside, and we went we went out to play the game. All of that still was inside of us. And that's why a lot of uh, uh, fans began to call us America's team. Oh, it gives wasn't me chills. Uh, the players that came up with that. Yeah. It was the fans and the news media that actually came. <laughs> I've got a few fans out here in the audience. How about that? Mrs. Price, we love her. Well, we are just getting started with Rayfield Wright, you guys. So exciting to have you here, but it's going to get a little bit more exciting after the break because we're playing a game called Naughty or Nice, and you do oh not want to miss it. So stay with us. America's favorite vacation company is flying nonstop from Dallas-Fort Worth. Save hundreds with Apple Vacations to Mexico and the Caribbean. Secrets Resorts and Spas offer unlimited luxury for adults-only escapes. Airfare, hotel, premium brand drinks, gourmet meals, all tips, and more. Call your travel agent or visit us online today. Apple Vacations, America's favorite vacation company. Grab a crisp, refreshing Bud Light, put two plans on the table, and let the NFL coin toss decide. Okay, heads, we host a bocce tournament. Tails, tackle football. You're like a horseshoe tournament. Full contact tackle football. I just, how's that fair? Welcome back into the fame, everyone. We are hanging out at the Rustic, and as I promised, this is going to be a very fun segment. Lindsey Draper, Tony Banks, Mark and Zacha getting all ready, and Rayfield Wright. So here's the game. It's called Naughty or Nice, right? Naughty or Nice. Naughty or Nice. I have two stacks of cards. This is the Naughty stack. The green is the nice. And these guys right here next to me are nervous. You see them talking. They're trying to get a game together. Oh, they are scheming. For absolutely no reason, because this is going to be great. So basically, <laughs> when I hand Rayfield a card, Mark has to act it out. Okay? And of course, we're going to give Mark the naughty stack. So are we ready to get started? Yeah, let's get Mark, it Mark, you're going to get up and right. act this out. You're staying. Ray, you stay. Because remember, you got to hold the card, but you can't look at the card. you got to guess what he's doing. 
Holy Are you ready? Well, I don't know what I can deal with the way these young guys do their dances. <laughs> and stuff. Let's but I'm going to do, do the this. best I can. I don't think it's All no right. nay -nay. First no card, nay -nay Mr. Rayfield Wright. Hold it up and do not look at it. Let's do this. Do not look at don't it. Don't look at it. No, but try to guess what Mark is acting out. Okay, go ahead, man. Let me Watch see what out. you Move got your microphone. going. Move your microphone. Let Two me words. go ahead. See what you got uh, going Two on. Two words, Mr. Rayfield. Mm -hmm. All right, let me... Hey. What's he doing right now? You oh, know what he's wobbly. doing. He looks wobbly. Saturday night. He's kind of wobbling a little bit. He's bad kinda, idea. Uh, uh, okay. All right, next. What it was time is it? Drunk Clock. texting. Okay. I don't next. know. Is that a wobbling? Next up. Next up, Rayfield. Okay, we go to the next one. I don't know whether I got it right or not, man, but it I'm was doing drunk the best texting. I can. Let's do this. Okay. Got All about right. 15 seconds. Ready? Oh, there we go. Ooh. What's he doing? Oh my God, man! Look like you're taking a good hot shot. Yeah. There we go. Ding, good ding, job. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> All right. The next one up. Good job, All right? right. Next up. At least I got up. one right, uh -huh. right? <laughs> Let's do this. I think you're on a roll now. You're on a roll. We're gonna do the best we can on a roll. I don't know if Rayfield knows oh, oh, what this is. Oh yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> That's all I got. Not long enough. I don't think no, it wasn't long enough, but it sure looked like the boogie to me. Oh, That's, all I got. That's, all, That's I got. all you got? That's all I got. Was that a boogie move or what? <laughs> the word for that is? Twerking. Twerking. Do you know Close twerking? Ray. No? Yeah? No. I think that was That's before good. my that time. Your daughters and Last granddaughters one. are twerking. Last one. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Last bro. one right here. Okay, here we go, homeboy. <laughs> all right. Bring it home. Oh, I oh like you're it. a great oh. actor, Mark. Oh. So he's Gosh. obviously doing something bad. Right? Oh, give me that. Give me that. Okay. What's he doing? I right just want to know what you're taking. Is it something from the stereo or something? <laughs> <laughs> something worth quite a bit. Perfect. Oh, hey, oh. you got it right. Semi. Uh -huh. You got a little bit of it. Got I got a little bit, bit of it right. You got Breaking half of it right. into a safe. Give a round of applause for Mark's yeah. acting. Okay. That was fabulous. All You're right, up. Man. I'll tell you what, Mark. That's a pretty up. good job, buddy. I appreciate no, you, it. Mark, you get up. I think he let you down a little bit, man. This is obviously you gonna give, you gonna give me a shot? the nice list for Mr. Okay. Wright. Do Hall of Mark, Famers not play board games okay, or what? What's okay. going on around here? Do I Hall of know, Famers man, not play board tell games? Me what's so Watch out for the going. edge of the stage, okay? Oh, you got to be right to me. Yeah, yeah. Don't <laughs> step off the bat. Too. Ready, Mark? You, you got to be right to me, man. Be good. All, All right. right, here we go. Three, two. Ah. Come on now. <laughs> you want me to come on now? Good job. Oh, a little feng shui. Was it a roll up? <laughs> Kung fu? Think workout. 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 New age. Type of pants. Type of pants? Oh, yeah. Come on, talk to me, man. If some girls look hot in. Uh, yoga. There ah, we go. Ding, 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 Good ding, job, ding, Mark. It, That's yoga. Right. Don't you give All, right. All right. All right. <laughs> well, that was not a hand. very good yoga right <laughs> Right. <laughs> Lindsay helped you. That's what I have right to say about these up. young guys. You know, they know all, right. all this stuff. Here we go, Mark. Next okay. up. Get it together, Mark. <laughs> do you do this, Mr. Wright? You ever no do this? doubt. Welcome to 2015. This is 2015. Yes, sir. Well, we need to go back a little bit, man. <laughs> Come on, act that out. Do you want that, sweetheart? <laughs> uh, flirting? How many of you ladies out there want this? <laughs> <laughs> that would be taking a selfie. He's a little bit off, or, so we're going to go to the next oh, one. Okay. Or being <laughs> Romeo. Uh, we'll do this one, Mr. Where? Wright. <laughs> next up. It, huh? Is that Charles well, Haley? Come on, talk to Is me, that girl. Charles Haley? Come on now. <laughs> yeah, talk to me, man. What was that? A Take selfie? a selfie. Selfie. Good job, Mark. Next up, last That's one. All right. Give him a hand. Don't you think hey, he did? One more. Guys? We got one more. One more. We got uno mas. This we got uno one mas. more to go. Uno there mas. we go. Perfect. Oh, my God. You know? What we got there? All right, uh -oh. here we go with this one, right? The Rocketeers. Good. Oh. What's he doing? <laughs> I don't know who what, would dancing. <laughs> a special kind of dance. I what thought we that? already huh? did twerking. <laughs> I thought we already did special twerking. Special kind of dance. <laughs> what was that? Huh? Something that happens on the sidelines. That side was lines. a Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. How about it? Yeah. Okay. Cheerleading, cheerleading, cheerleading. I, I hey, big oh, round of applause for these guys. Maybe that was. You know, he's a player, so he don't get a chance <laughs> to look at the cheerleaders. 
Good job, you guys. <laughs> Round of applause there for these no football game. players Back turned actors. Yeah, that is all we have right now. <laughs> Y'all go to Beer 101. I'm with brand development specialist Shamir of Benny Keith Beverages. Shamir, I'm sad because this is our last episode of the season, but I'm Definitely. happy because Christmas. Definitely. St. Arnold Christmas Ale. It's actually out of Houston, Texas. It's a very, it's a local beer, um, one of the oldest Texas craft breweries. Um, so it sits at 7% alcohol. So it's a full body beer. Um, sits, looks dark to ruby, uh, brown in color, and actually uh, easy to drink. And I'm assuming it's gonna go great with those holiday parties, desserts. The Rustic has paired it with their delicious banana pudding. Yes, ma'am. Uh, this being a comfort food, it goes perfect with the comfort beer. And Santa on Christmas, why not? All right, Shamir, it's our last show. We've got a cheers to this. Cheers. In my way, dessert. Definitely. Delicious, right? Am I right? That's okay, awesome. we're gonna go enjoy this. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the other side of the break. Don't just watch the game. Open up a can of football with a crisp, refreshing Bud Light. Bob LaBelle for Home Marketing Services, here today to discuss the New Year's resolutions that we've all made. Let's see, there's uh, going to quit smoking. Yeah, like that'll happen. Uh, going to lose those extra pounds, work out. Uh, going to be a better person, whatever the heck that means. Uh, going to quit renting and stop making the landlord richer. Hallelujah. Get out of the rent race. Hallelujah. Finally, a resolution we can all keep. with our last segment with Mar Mark, I want to give a shout out to our fabulous sponsors. So please give them a round of applause. Wouldn't be possible without you guys. First, Benny Keith Beverages. We love doing Beer 101 with you guys every week. Lola Boutique, Pamela Cotter styles me every week. She does a fabulous job. HMS, Hands of Peace Massage, Quantum Holistic Health Center, Apple Vacations, very exciting giveaway coming up. You don't want to miss it. ASAP Limos to bring our guests here every week. State Farm, Uber, Dallas Academy of Music and Performing Arts, Nolan Shoots, and Ace Development. So thank you guys so much from the thank bottom you. of our hearts. We appreciate you guys. Just a few minutes left here, and we were talking through the break, Mark. You're from Germany, but you celebrate Christmas every year, and that was your time to go home and see your family. So it's a little different this year, but tell us about some of your traditions growing up. You know, I'm definitely um, come from a big family, so we always had a big family gathering. Actually, back home, we celebrate on the 24th. Mm -hmm. So we have a nice dinner, you know, and afterwards, just like unwrap the presents and, you know, have some great family time. Well, now you're in the NFL, all that stops. No Christmas for you <laughs> anymore. Not <laughs> true. <laughs> well, it's a much more limited basis, right? Yeah. You got a lot less free time yeah. now during the Christmas break after all those January bowls you went to in college. Absolutely. So, <laughs> so what's going to change this year, now that you're an NFL player when it comes to Christmas I and mean, the holidays? I mean, obviously, uh, during Christmas, we actually have a game two days later, so there's going to yeah. be uh, a little break probably from preparation, you know, and then just, you know, hang out with the guys from the team. I'm sure they're going to have, like, a little Christmas dinner for yeah. us and then, you know, just enjoy their company. It'll be a normal Friday week for you, basically, exactly, right? Yeah. yeah, it'll be two days before the game. That's all that matters. So. so my question is, obviously, Mark is not from here, and you were on a lot of different teams. Do any of the players open up their home for Christmas for guys who don't have family in town? Well, I know I did. Uh, my ex-wife was a big-time chef, and I, we loved opening our homes. I didn't like sharing my food so much, but she liked it. So I'd invite a lot of my teammates, and it became one of my favorite holidays, Christmas and Thanksgiving because it was about family, and you're away from your family when you're in the NFL, so your family's your teammates. So who, give us some names of guys that you could possibly spend Christmas with. Mm. I mean, who has kind of become your best friends on the team? Yeah, I'm all, obviously, I'm really uh, 
uh, good friends with all the rookies. You know, some of the veteran guys, uh, especially the, on the linebacker corps, like uh, Sean Lee, Rolando McClain, Andrew Gatchkar. Right. Kyle Wood was a very good friend. Just, you know, those guys. Yep, your position group, you're around them all the time. All right, we're going to wrap this with a really fun game. Let's play this game. It is called Last Word, okay? So last this word. is how Last Word is going to work Ooh, between I you what two. That game is. So, Gina, do we have about one minute to do this? All right, the countdown is one minute. One minute. Basically, Wait, is me and Mark playing? Yes, it's you and Mark oh. against each other. So all right. Here's how Last Word well, works. Well, actually, there's a little twist. There Since is. There is. Uh -oh. yeah. Tell us. Since this is the last episode of the year, you get to play Tony. Oh! oh. Yeah. Wow, Shite. perfect. Shite. This is my type of game. So here's how you play last word. <laughs> you go back and say curse word replacements to one another. And I don't think I've ever said a cuss word in my life. So well, this should you be really should be fun. good at the replacements then. Perfect. You know? All right, let's do this. So uh, one minute. We're going to go right, back who starts? and forth. Who starts? Mark? Start. All right, three, Start. two, one. Let me use my go to. Freak. Fiddlesticks. Shoot. Does that count? Shoot? Okay. Farfic Nugent. <laughs> you are so weird. I thought Mark was involved in this. No, Where's I'm this? Not. I'm not. No? I'm just a spectator. All right. Dang it. I'm so wouldn't you guys rather see Mark? Cobble pot. What? Huh? You never said cobble pot? Come on. What are you guys thinking? <laughs> I'm, all, I'm already out of words. Shaitza. Shaitza. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> uh, that Gosh darn. Dad gummit. That's a good one. That's what I always say. I like the dad gummit. That was my next one. You stole it from me. What's our countdown, Gina? Is that Gina? a minute yet? Because I'm running out of Keep going. creativity. Fame. Someone holler one out for me, please. <laughs> Fame's a four-letter word. Scars? Oh, my stars. Did I use fiddlesticks yet? Fiddlesticks. Time's over. Did I win? Mark, did on, I win? You asked you for help. Yes. <laughs> you asked for help from Mark. I Come was. on, my fiddlesticks killed it. Okay, you guys, thank you, you so much for pot. participating. Nah, I know you're going to use cobble so pot now. Stupid. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to cuss words, but thank you guys so much for being here all the time we have today. We have Cindy Sledge as our musical guest up next. Yes. You don't want to miss it. Thank you guys so much from all of us at The Fame. We'll see you next year for season three. Thank you guys so much for being here. The people get ready. There's a train a coming. You don't need no baggage. You just get on. Just think, oh, Jane.